So yesterday, a few of you commented about my speed test, my performance test using benchmarks for the OnePlus 3, the HTC 10, the LG G5, and the Samsung Galaxy S7. A few of you commented on the HTC 10 saying that there is a high performance mode that will enable it to run quicker, which, okay, I get that, but the whole point of this performance test was to run through every single phone without using any kind of tweaks here. But out of curiosity, and for the name of science, because you know how I get. Let's go ahead and turn on performance mode or high performance mode or whatever it's called and rerun the test just so we can see what kind of numbers the HCC 10 can actually pull. Now what I've done is I let the HCC 10 sit here for maybe the last 20 minutes or so. It's on a full battery. Go ahead and restart it now or turn it on. Get this fan out of the way. I'll be running the same benchmarks, the RealPie benchmark and 2.2. 3D Mark Geekbench 3. I probably won't run Mortal Kombat X. I'm not really gonna pit this phone against any others. I still feel that the HTC 10 in yesterday's video ran with the same controls as every other phone. But again, for the sake of science, to see what kind of numbers the high performance mode pulls, it's always good just to see. Now, to enable high performance mode, it says here, high performance mode requires additional battery power to maximize CPU performance, which is probably why it's not a mode that's on default because it probably just drains your battery. Now to access high performance mode, you have to do it in developer settings. So to do that, you go into settings, into developer options, or developer options, not developer settings, I'm sorry. And right at the top here, it's called high performance mode, maximize CPU performance. Running high performance mode maximizes CPU performance and consumes a lot of power. To prolong battery life, turn off high performance mode when you don't need it. All right, so we turned it on. We'll go ahead and we will start with RealPie Benchmark like we did yesterday. Now, RealPie Benchmark on the HTC 10 came in first. RealPie Benchmark uses single core performance. This was the only test the HTC 10 came in first with. We'll go ahead here and change this to 10 million digits. And we'll see if we can beat the time the HTC 10 had in yesterday's video. Here we go. At this 48 here, it was 12.11. 17.61, so it's already a little bit behind. 23.11, I'm not gonna go through every single one. Actually, now it looks like it's on par with yesterday's video. Take a look at the battery too. Right now it's at 98%. I think it was at around 99, 100% when we started. So after turning this mode on, let's see how much battery it actually drains. Now, yesterday's video actually finished this test at 124.94 seconds. So with high performance mode on, it beat it by less than half a second. Still would have came in first versus all the other phones. Let's go ahead, keep that open. We will go into Antutu benchmark. Oh good, it still has yesterday's score. So we'll go ahead and we will test it again. Now, if I remember correctly, the HTC 10 came in last for this test. All right, I had a chance to pull up the numbers from yesterday and the HTC 10 did come in last. Its score last night was 134,057. The top score here was the OnePlus 3 at 143,270. So let's see if it can beat that number. Okay, so its score is a lot higher this time, 143,165. It still doesn't beat OnePlus 3's score though of 143,270, but it's really close. This would make it come in second, running under high performance mode. Second yesterday was the Galaxy S7 at 141,546. Let's go ahead and run the next test. 3D Mark, go ahead and hit run.
Okay, so at 2268, this beats yesterday's score of 1702, but even after this score, this would put the HTC 10 in third place. Yesterday, the Galaxy S7 came in first at 2567, the OnePlus 3 at 2470, and then the HTC 10 here at 2268. The LG G5 had a score of 2023, but again, yesterday, the HTC 10, without high performance mode on, was at 1702. All right, let's move on to the next, Geekbench 3, run the benchmarks. Again, yesterday, running Geekbench 3, the HTC 10 came in last here. Now, with these scores, both of these have improved with high performance mode on. Yesterday, it got 2071 for single core, this time 2135, which would put it third. And its score of 4430 on multi-core would still put it last. Yesterday, its score was 4254 but the OnePlus 3, the LG G5, and the Galaxy S7 ran over 5,000 in each of those. Again, hear me out. It's not that benchmarks mean everything, because for me, it doesn't. This is, yeah, maybe a good way to get a baseline of how a phone performs, but really what's most important is how well a phone performs for you. If you're noticing lag, if you're noticing any kind of stutter, then yeah, there's an issue. But when I use my HTC 10, when it's not in high performance mode, it works well. It runs fast, it keeps all the apps in memory, and if you haven't watched my speed test on the HTC 10 some time ago, it came in first. It's able to handle a lot of apps well. I run these tests out of sheer curiosity. I feel like it's a good way to share with other people to see how other flagship phones work. These three tests ran about 10-ish minutes, I'm guessing. And right now I'm at 91%, so that kind of drew 10% out of my battery. And the screen's not even on maximum or anything. This is on auto brightness at 50%. Do I recommend running on high performance mode? No, I don't. But then again, I'm not a gamer, so I don't play a lot of that kind of stuff. I'd imagine you only enable that option when you're running something like a high performance game or a very like CPU, GPU hungry game and you're experiencing some sort of stutter or lag, then yeah, sure, go ahead and use it. But it's not something that I would be using on an everyday basis, especially if the only things you're doing is texting, surfing Chrome, checking Facebook, you know, that kind of social media stuff. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, high performance mode gives you better benchmark numbers, but even enabling it here on the HTC 10 doesn't put it at the number one spot. And I guess that's it. Happy 4th of July. See you tomorrow. Time to eat barbecue.